Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a boil test on this Espit stainless steel stove and pot stand that I got off eBay. Uh, in it I used my mini Trangia instead of the, uh, I don't have the Espit burner. This is one that would be just like it, but since this is almost identical to the mini, I just used my regular mini on this. But after doing that test, I had several, <laughs> several requests to do the test using the um, solid fuel disc that comes with it. So I thought that's what I'd do today. Kind of looks like you just put it down in. The stainless steel flexes a little bit, just enough for you to put it in place like that. Now an interesting thing that I was thinking about was I wonder if air holes in this plate on the outside edge might be a good idea. I might try that later. As you can see, they put a dent in here so that you know where to put the S bit at. So we're going to go with that. A couple of other questions that I've had uh, given to me that I thought I'd try to answer. I've been asked, how does the weights relate to each other? This versus let's say the mojo versus the uh, west wind stove so these four pieces the three sides and the disc just this weighs 73 I'm sorry 75.3 grams or 2.66 ounces now you don't have to write this down I'll put it down below in the text area on the mojo just these three pieces um, this weighs 61.3 grams or 2.16 ounces so as it sets right here the mojo is actually lighter by you know a little bit although I know I've had it pointed out to me but this includes a windscreen in it whereas the mojo doesn't okay you got me there you'd have to add yourself a windscreen to use on this and this might add 39. This one weighs 33.9 grams. So these two together should be equivalent to that. The West Wind weighs 81.0 grams or 2.86. And that's the heaviest of the bunch, the West Wind. <clears throat> okay, so here we have a piece of aspic. I already took it out of the package because I was measuring it and weighing it. Uh, it's another idea that I was playing with. You could on this stove you could use aspit. You can use I thought I had them here. You can use the Coglin tablets. You know, almost any solid fuel. But for today I'm going to use an aspit cube. Now these things, I was playing with an idea, I wonder how it relates an espit cube versus alcohol, weight for weight. That might make an interesting uh, little play thing to try later on. Now to start espit, I always scrape the top of it a little bit just to give me some crumbs on the top. It makes it a little bit easier to light than just trying to light the straight cube. The other thing I suggest is if you're going to burn espit in this or in anything else it leaves a real residue so I put a piece of aluminum foil down I doubt that'll add much weight and then just put the espit cube on top of that that way you can just pull the aluminum foil off okay my water's heating up here just in room temperature getting warm already let's see if I can light this now there won't be any camera too because with this pot stand there's not much to see let's see if I can light this doesn't leave a lot of room for my fingers in here Must not have put enough crumbs on there. Let me try it again.
hard my fingers here. Okay. Now let's get serious here. There we go. Now we're lit. So, we have two cups of water setting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. Here we have 210, 211, 212, and 556. 556. Huh, not bad. That was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil of 212 degrees Fahrenheit in 5 minutes and 56 seconds. The other day when I did it with my Trangia Mini using methanol alcohol, it took 6 minutes and 1 seconds. So that's pretty close to the same time. <clears throat> oh, we got the smell in here of Espit, but let me let this go, see how long it takes to run out, and then I'll be right back. And there we're going, going, gone at 9.34, let's say. Not bad. Let me just empty this out. hot. Pull that out of the way. Yeah, bump the camera there. Is it okay? Nope. All right. I just wanted to empty that so I can show you what SBIT does. Well, you can see the little corrugation on the pot stand part but that's espit it always leaves soot on the pot now I know a lot of gram weenies seem to like to use espit um, guess it's light you don't have to worry about alcohol floating all over the place but you make trade-ins with everything use alcohol maybe it weighs a little more but you don't get this mess on the pots I don't know, can you see that or is it too shiny? Now, the one thing I forgot to mention, I was talking about this indention here, that part. That's not really to show you where to put the espit cube. What happens is the espit, as it's burning, melts, and that holds the espit all in place. Otherwise, it would probably flow all over that plate. But by having it in an indention like that, it keeps all of the burning material in one place. Okay, so a little recap here. One espit cube, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature is 79, humidity 57. And it came to a full boil of 212 degrees Fahrenheit in 5 minutes and 56 seconds about five seconds closer, five seconds faster rather, than using the Trangia. And it ran out in nine minutes and 34 seconds. So that means in this case we would have had two cups of uh, safe water to drink as far as pathogens and stuff. Not chemicals and garbage like that, but germ-wise it would have been safe with one espit cube. Okay, let's see, anything else? Nope, I think that's pretty much it. Save yourself some grief. Use a piece of aluminum foil in the stove to keep that part clean. Not much you can do about the pot except just scrub it. I mean, it comes off fairly easy, but it's a mess. Okay, well, I thank you for watching. I hope this helps the people that asked for this test. 
I'm sure I'll be doing a couple more as time goes on. Again, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.